I finally uh, ended up at the, uh, the Lee Cultural Center because the federal government had a program where there were community schools and they named the Alain Locke School, which was right down the street from the Lee Cultural Center as a community school. They were supposed to be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So the uh, recreation commissioner felt that if these schools caught on, that that would decimate the recreation department. So he sent me out there to at least be in competition with Alain Locke. As it happened, I annexed what they were doing and we use their school for our uh, uh, drama, dance classes, and what have you. And that's how I, I met Arthur. Arthur was, at the time, he was uh, uh, practicing and rehearsing at a place in Society Hill. I, I don't know what it was, uh, where it was, but uh, he came out and asked me, could he rehearse at Lee Center, and the rest of that is history. Mm -hmm. Arthur was a, a very self-sufficient guy. You know, he always liked to pretty much take care of everything that he had to do. But at one time, um, while, in fact, while he was still at Lee, he was to uh, celebrate uh, a significant anniversary, his 10th anniversary mm -hmm. or 15th of, of the troop. Mm -hmm. And he told me, um, he said, Shuna, I want to bring over uh, some royalty from um, Nigeria. And um, I'm gonna need ten thousand dollars. <laughs> do, do, do you know where I could get a rant? You know, so and he needed it like in two months. You know, I said, "All right, the, the, nobody's going to give us ten thousand dollars in two months." I said, "But let me um, figure out a way that we can do this." At the time, uh, uh, a brother named um, Ed Robinson, Dr. Ed Robinson, was head of the Minority Business Enterprise Council for the city. And Dr. Robinson was actually my mentor. So I went to Dr. Robinson, I said, Doc, uh, $10,000 we need, you know, um, can you help us? He said, well, I'll tell you what I'll do, Shuna. He said, I'll put you in the room with 20 to 25 black uh, millionaires. You can do whatever you want to do, try to convince them, somebody to come up with $10,000. So I told Arthur and he said, well, we can show the film, I think it's called The Making of a King or The Installment of a King, is mm -hmm. it? Yeah. And he said, we can show the film, I can tell them why I need the ten thousand dollars, and uh, um, and you know we, we'll see what happens, and and we showed that film, and Arthur, um, you know, told the group uh, why he needed the ten thousand dollars. So uh, there was a gentleman who said that he had for years tried to get a contract to set up the telecommunication system in Nigeria and that if Arthur would, when, when the or king or whoever it was came in, if he would set him next to him 
at a dinner or luncheon or whatever they were going to have, then he would give him the ten thousand dollars because he figured that he could, you know, convince this guy, and so. It it was out of my hands at that time. I never went to the reception that they had for the king or anything. But I know he did come in, and so Arthur must have gotten the money, mm-hmm. and and that was my contribution to uh, the Arthur Hall uh, Elaine fame. Well, of course, I, I I believe that Arthur was an original genius. And and one thing that at that time he had three young women dancers called themselves, and I think we called them also the Salele sisters. Number one, they were three of the finest young women I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, physically fine, <laughs> and also they they were just nice young women. Um, but I just recently met a, a lady who runs a cultural center in Memphis, Tennessee, and I mentioned to her that, uh, you know, uh, Kofi and I have been friends and that he performed with Arthur. She said, I know who Arthur Hall is. She said, did you know he was born in Memphis, Tennessee? I said, no. She said, yeah, we, uh, he was one of our unsung heroes, and we honored him some years ago. I thought that was strange. <laughs> you know, so, so Arthur's known all over, and uh, I, I think whatever this collection will be will uh, serve to show those young people coming through, you know, just the kind of heritage that they have before them. Yeah, and I, I think he did a hell of a job here in Philadelphia. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, thank you very much. Thank you.